What's up, YouTube? It is your bro, Dr. Drew. I'm here with a video to tell you why you should be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in 2019. For those of you who don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is a game you can play on your phone or on Steam on your PC. That's basically the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, but with some slight differences. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links uses the speed duel rule. Speed, speed, speed. The speed duel rules go like this. You start with 4,000 life points three monster zones and three spell and trap zones, and a 20 card deck. However, the biggest difference between the regular card game and the speed duel format is the introduction of skills. Now skills bring a little bit of like the anime TV show stuff to life. For example, you could use Pegasus's Millennium Eye to see your opponent's cards. Or if you're using Bandit Keith, you can use his baggy sleeve skill to draw some extra cards or maybe put some cards in your sleeves to prepare for later in the game. You can get a little Bandit Keithy on your enemy. Or maybe you can use Joey's fucking Luxac bullshit nonsense to draw a million cards. Uh oh, getting the motor running, monkey noise. <laughs> Brioche, Brioche has 666. Are you actually the devil? Is Brioche the Antichrist? Oh my god, she rolls a six! The last gamble we're about to get zorked. Skills are actually like a ton of fun, and they're one of my favorite parts of Duel Links. The ability to be like one of your favorite anime characters and to do the things they actually did in the show is awesome. It's great for fans, it's great for casual players, and it adds actually a little bit of a second level of strategy for some of the more hardcore competitive players. It's definitely one of the best additions, and I'm kind of shocked that Konami actually did something right for this game for once. It's amazing. <laughs> But Dr. Drew, you might ask, what about the ability to draw any card you want like Yugi or any other of these OP skills? Isn't the game terribly balanced? Isn't 4,000 life points, three monster zones, three spell and trap zones, doesn't that all add up for a really poorly balanced game? Well, the game's far from perfect. 4,000 life points does make it fairly easy to get OTK'd. But other than that, the balance for the game is not terrible. That's not terrible. Thank you, Charles Barkley. Take it from him. There are no first turn kills or hand loops in the game right now. Hand loops, by the way, are when you, you know, discard your opponent's entire hand with a crazy combo. And while 4,000 life points is a bit shallow right now, this still isn't the most frustrating Yu-Gi-Oh! meta I've ever seen. Konami has actually done a pretty good job at keeping a lot of the really OP or broken cards out of the game to keep the decks fairly balanced and not let the game get out of control like it has been in the past with the TCG. Key cards like Brianak or Plague Spreader Zombie or Wind Up Hunter uh, or any other ones that maybe you can think of, those key cards have not made it into the game. So a lot of the game-breaking elements or the things that made tournaments so terrible in the physical card game just don't exist with those same archetypes in Duel Links. So far, it seems like most decks are kept in relative check, and even the best decks, the top-tier decks of this current meta, they're really not that bad. They're not so frustrating to play against like some other decks in the physical game have been in the past. Now, depending on when you watch this video, the meta may have changed, but as of right now, this sort of masked hero vampire meta, it's not that bad. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Thanks again, Charles. And some of the other rule changes, like less monster zones um, or a smaller deck, are actually good for the game, in my opinion. Smaller decks means you can run three copies of a particular card and consistently draw it in your opening hand. Consistency actually goes up in the mobile version of this game. And the changes to monster zones, the spell trap zones, and a smaller extra deck, which is only five cards, makes a lot of other cards that would see no play suddenly viable in Duel Links. For example, the card Straight Flush, right? Straight Flush allows you to destroy all your opponent's spell or traps if they've locked up every zone. In the TCG, that's so difficult because they have to have five cards in their back row. But in Duel Links, they only have to have three! It's really easy, actually, in Duel Links to get Straight Flush off, and it's super hype. So you can see how some of these changes make cards that were previously irrelevant suddenly a part of the meta. So yeah, the game is, you know, pretty well balanced, and it's got some new interesting changes that maybe make it better than the original game. The balance, the changes, all that stuff are reasons why I kind of like Duel Links better than the physical card game. Anyways, enough about the balance and the skills and all that. Let me get to reason two as to why you need to be playing Duel Links. Reason number two that you need to be playing Duel Links is because it's mobile. Now, to be fair, mobile links have kind of a pro-con thing going for them. 
The major pro, obviously, is accessibility, right? The ability to play the game in a variety of places. Think about it. You can be taking down Maximilian Pegasus while you're pooping. Oh, no! In Duel Links, you can play the card Little D while you're playing with your Little D. All right, now to be serious, there are cons to it being a mobile game. The biggest one for me is that there's a lack of a community. There's no visiting your local every weekend, building relationships and all that jazz. Also, it means all the money you invest goes towards digital cardboard, which does not hold the same value as physical cardboard. As of right now, there's no way really to trade cards or sell cards. So the only value of buying these cards in Duel Links is that you have them in Duel Links. Also, I lost the ability to drop some of my uh, physical swag on my opponents. Even considering those cons, even considering those cons, I still prefer the mobile version. Having access to the game everywhere is just a huge bonus. Playing it on the bus, playing it in the car, playing it on the couch means that you can have Yu-Gi-Oh with you everywhere, and I love that. Now, that brings us to the third reason that you should be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in 2019. And that reason is simply, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! I know there's some of you out there. I know there's some of you out there who have felt that old duelist itch. Not the itch you got from, you know, grinding on that person at the club last weekend. Not the grinding itch. That's a different itch. No, but I mean the duelist itch. You know, the one you get when you look at your old cards or when you think back to those good memories you had playing at locals. You know, if you find yourself just looking for a way to play the game casually, to just summon a monster, summon a monster for the first time in forever. Oh, yeah. Summoning that monster. Ooh. Oh. oh! If that's the case, this is a great way to get that itch scratched. So if you're a casual player who really just needs to get that summon out, if you just want to play casually, if you just want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh against the computer, the game is perfect for that. There's tons of NPCs that you can play at almost any time, and there's constantly new events coming out to allow you to earn gems, which allow you to get free cards, and to keep playing Yu-Gi-Oh essentially for free. Now, if you want to play at the highest level, the absolute highest level, you're going to have to drop some cash to get some of the best decks. And to be fair, Konami doesn't give you a ton for your cash. But I'll tell you this, in my first couple weeks playing, I managed to put together a relatively competitive deck, one that could climb the PvP ladder, maybe not to the highest level, but still a pretty high level. I was able to do that without spending any money. If you're really focused and you get some help early on knowing where to spend your gems, it is possible to get a almost tier one deck for free. It's grindy, but you can do it. But beyond all that, beyond the climbing of ranking and the playing and all these, you know, tournaments or stuff, if you really just need to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, this, it's not exactly the same, but it, at its core, at its heart, I really feel like this is Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah, there's those three reasons. Those are the three reasons I expect to see you in the dual world in 2019. Oh yeah, get them dual discs ready. Well, yeah, the, the virtual dual discs. Not like the physical, not the ones you actually did all, you know. Those things used to just tear up your cards, destroy your cards, absolutely raw your cards. If you're interested in checking out some Duel Links content, it turns out I stream Duel Links on Twitch. You could check me out at www.twitch.tv slash Dr. Drew. I stream several mornings out of the week, and I stream a couple evenings out of the week as well. All of this is, of course, Mountain Standard Time, where I'm at. I'll go ahead and include a link to my schedule underneath this video so you can see my constantly updating schedule and I'll try to keep it updated for you guys. I really encourage you guys to come check it out because we have an amazing time. Anyways, anyways, I encourage you to come check it out. We have a really good time and I would love to help you get into Duel Links. I mean, I guess that's it. I guess this video is just done. Thank you for watching. Happy Dueling. And as usual, you're welcome for the best YouTube content and Twitch content. You're welcome. Don't forget to like if this video convinced you. Get in the door. You're welcome.